guys we are 21 days away at least in the states until ps5 releases and of course that also includes spider-man miles morales as you guys probably are well aware we do have road to miles morales as well on the podcast so you can make sure to go check out that link below in the description but as opposed to this week on the podcast for road to miles morales we are going to be going over different story details about the game i want to go over all the different suits that we got because we did just get a brand new suit unveiled uh today and i did want to just go over all the different suits that we have that we know of right now because of course there is going to be a lot more suits in the full game but we want to go over at least the ones that we know right now in spider-man miles around so without further ado what is going on guys it is your boy tkd once the year back in place in source and let's go over some of the suits that you may be rocking in spider-man miles morales <laughs> Now, of course, just to make sure you guys are all well aware, these are definitely not the only suits in the game. Of course, we had a few suits that were unveiled when Spider-Man PS4 was coming out, but there was plenty of other suits to rock in the game and to unlock. And so, this is definitely not all the suits, but at least all that we know of right now, pre-release. And there's also one more suit that you get with the pre-order of the game that we won't know and that we still don't know until who knows when they'll say that other suit. But let's start off with the first suit that we got here on the list, of course, courtesy of Game Informer coverage we got the beginner suit this is what miles wears at the beginning of the game apart from the mask the suit is normal civilian clothing including a blue winter jacket red hoodie and black shorts with leggings he is also rocking awesome sneakers shoes apparently play a big role in the game a collectible question mark look here's the thing right i don't like <laughs> how you know there's no there's no nikes you know what i'm saying come on man like like i feel like okay grand hold up hold up let me just say my piece first i don't claim to be a very in-depth comic book fan i don't claim to be a you know huge you know nerd buff that knows the ins and outs of miles Morales. but here's what i do know right i love spider-man into the spider-verse right and i feel like those nikes and i have heard from a lot of different other people that are at would say very much comic buffs and know a lot about the character from the comic book lore and different stuff like that i feel like you know accompanying with them and their similar sentiments i feel like the nike you know uh shoes definitely are tied to miles right and i think that that's very important in terms of his character overall so it is weird to not see any of that on any of these suits maybe you know in the future that may change but the beginner suit is you know there it is right it's him and the uh whole whole winter gear and this is definitely the suit that we'll be rocking at the very very beginning of the game hence the name and you can see that it's very much just a you know made suit that's not really anything wild not really anything crazy uh but hey it is what it is you know what i'm saying like it looks you know it looks cool and and uh this is on the cover of the art book for the game as well that you can purchase on amazon but let's go over this next suit which we don't have an image for actually yet it is called the gift suit so i'm gonna go through some light spoilers in the game in case you don't want to know these are very very light spoilers in the game peter parker gives miles morales a suit and then gives it to him uh before he leaves right for for the whole game i'm not gonna say where he's going or what he's doing but peter parker leaves during the duration of the main game but he's there in the beginning and he gives miles a suit it is said to be true to the name this suit is gifted to miles as his first full-blown spider-man getup it isn't armored or advanced like peter's latest threads and instead looks like a pair of pajamas the colors are spider-man's traditional red and blue with a little more blue than normal so i guess it's going to be like more of a blue suit which a i mean you know I am down with that. I love a blue suit, but we still haven't seen it yet, but we will see it very, very soon once we get our hands on the game because it is something that happens early on in the game. Miles does get this suit early, so we will see it eventually. Next up here, this suit is probably going to be the one that I spend the most time in and probably will be the one that I main in Spider-Man Miles Morales. That is, of course, the iconic suit. Featured on the game's box art, this is Miles' go-to suit. Although it's mostly black, it's made up of different materials, providing some more protection in some spots and flexible materials in others and so the way they described this actually was very very similar if you guys recall back during Spider-Man PS4 when that was coming out they really went into in depth about how the advanced suit was actually more than just aesthetics like there was actually reasoning to why there was white on there and it was across his chest and across the back because the white was heavily armored and and like able to protect you know important organs like the heart and different 
different aspects of the body wherever the white was on his suit so it was able to add a bunch of you know protection and i believe the blue parts were the flexible parts so that's going to be definitely around the joints and around the arms and stuff like that so he can still move freely and different stuff like that it looks like we have a similar thing going on with of course this iconic suit and it seems like this is definitely going to be one that maybe you know uh miles makes in you know peter's lab or like however you know wherever peter is making suits now i guess i guess not in doc ock's lab but who knows whatever you know peter is making suits it looks like maybe this is going to be something that he makes early on in the game as well and uh i love this suit guys i think this suit looks great honestly i think it looks really really cool um i love the actual v across the overall like torso in the front of the suit i really really dig that uh love the mask everything looks great on the suit this definitely screams miles rouse me personally but we do have some more suits to cover one of them being of course the very good looking track suit so this track suit is a new creation from marvel artist javier garron this suit is white from head to toe with a giant red spider on the chest and red racing stripes down the sides it's a slick and different look now now look this one honestly while I know I just said I'm mainly going to rock the iconic suit, and that's definitely the suit that I'm gonna rock the most. Honestly, I like this track suit a lot. I may try it here and there, you know what I'm saying? I think this looks really, really slick. It doesn't look too crazy to me personally. I think that spider being really big kind of looks weird, I think. And I think the shoes don't look that well, like with that random like middle split in the in the in the suit. I don't I, I mean, in the shoes, I don't really like that. That was kind of weird to me. But overall, I think this suit looks slick. You know, all things considered, I think it looks great. And uh, if you want to rock that, you know, I would call this like the like PS5 suit. You know, with like all that white going on, you know what I'm saying? With all that two-tone things going on. It kind of reminds me of the PS5 uh, in terms of the actual hardware of the PS5. But that is the track suit. Next up here, we have the now famous cat suit this cat suit is uh described as how do you top shirtless spider-man from the first game put a masked cat in a backpack so that's really much all we got here in terms of that whole uh description and like honestly the cat suit doesn't really need that much description as well as you can see here he is wearing a red hoodie and he, and he looks like he has the same pants as the iconic suit i think or like the same leggings i guess you would say as the iconic suit he's wearing some adidas which is quite interesting what they said before I'm not really sure i'm feeling about wearing shoes you know besides nike or you know any shoe that doesn't look like the shoes that he's supposed to be wearing but i digress uh it still looks pretty cool but obviously the main grab here is that this suit will have the cat just chilling in it whenever you equip it and so this cat uh will help you with different takedowns and different stuff like that it looks cool i dig it like this is definitely just one of just the really fun suits that i feel like there's a lot of people that are probably going to main this cat suit just because of the cat but overall it's a neat idea it's great you know i'm probably gonna rock it once but hey it's cool to see that you know spire cat gonna get some action here on the streets of harlem defeating roxon and of course the underground but moving on we have the really dope looking suit now look guys i i need to preface this right there have been suits that look outlandish and wild uh you know in the original Mario ps4 game that i was very public that i did not like right i'm gonna keep it honest right but i can still attain that while i would not wear this suit for a very long of time i still think this suit looks fire that is of course the 2020 suit looking like something pulled from a tron movie or dead mouse concert miles wears a black and silver helmet with led eyes his fingers sneakers and the spider on his chest also light up in a striking red tone like this should have been called like the cyberpunk suit i don't know how else you would describe it but like i would call this legit cyberpunk type deal and looks like he's in some sort of like underground hq not like underground like literally underground but the underground the actual uh faction in the game that's working against roxon like it looks like he's in some sort of like facility of theirs because was all with like all the purple lights and all that but yo this suit looks flame this suit has that sauce y'all gonna hear me talk a lot about how spider-man miles Morales has has that sauce that you know peter parker can just never have and like this is a perfect example of it like he looks fire in this suit i love the actual uh you know s that we would all draw on our notebooks as kids too right there on the patch on the actual forearm well not 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 forearm like they're like bicep of the suit it looks dope man i love this suit this suit looks really really cool and again i put this in the same league as like the spider 
Thundercat suit. Like, it's just something really unique, really out there that I think looks great. And the last one here, we did get unveiled today. That is, of course, the Crimson Cowl suit. Some call it a hood, others call it a cowl. Regardless, it's never been done before, and it's a new look on our Spider-Man uh, for Miles Morales. So, I think this suit looks interesting. Um, I don't love it, right? Like, like, I do love, so look, I do love the concept of hoods, right? Like, if I were to ever be a hero, right, I want a hood, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I definitely want to be hooded in some particular fashion, right? So, I do like it for that reason, but, um, overall, like, I just think it kind of looks like if, like, Miles Morales was a part of, like, the Teen Titans or something like that, like, I feel like that's what he would look like, and, like, it's not the worst in the world, I'm sure a lot of people like this suit, um, but I don't love this suit overall, like, I think maybe it's, like, the... Uh, honestly, uh, I'm not really sure. Like, other than the cowl, that's pretty much the only thing I like about this suit. But I digress. If you want to check out uh, that suit, again, I will link it below in the description on Twitter as well. But those have been the suits that we know of as of right now of this recording on October 21st of the Spider-Man Miles Morales suits in the game. So as I said before, I'm definitely going to be mainly rocking that iconic suit. But let me know what you'll be rocking as well, guys. What are your thoughts down below? What suits do you want to come? Obviously, we all want the Spider-Verse suit, which I think will, of course, be there. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on the different suits and what's your favorites and what suits that you want to see come to the game in the future. And make sure also while you are down there to check out our description where you can find links to our Discord, our Twitter, as well as our anchor link. That way you can listen to our long form content and podcast. So about those, of course, being Road to Miles Morales, the weekly Spider-Man Miles Morales podcast where we talk about any and all things Spider-Man Miles Morales. And of course, Road to PS5, the weekly PSI podcast about any and all things, once again, about PlayStation. 5. And if you deem us so worthy, make sure to become a member of the channel by hitting that join button or link below in the description. That way you can get access to different channel emotes, different badges, as well as, of course, be one of the homies, just like Owen, Arachnite, Chungi, Caleb Kaiser, and Tapiwa Musa, as I do give PSS shots to all the homies in everything PSS that goes up or on podcasts. Thank you all for watching. Glad that you enjoyed it, as well as subscribe to PlayStation Stores to keep up with the latest and greatest in PlayStation. Thank you all for watching, and as always, greatness awaits.